my friends, of any preacher's calling. Uh, that's really the crux of any real Christian witness. Uh, Jesus is the cornerstone. Jesus is the motivator. Jesus is the source of inspiration. Jesus is the purpose giver. Jesus is the cause of it all. And when you give him your life, you must obey his will. And when you obey his will, you will be a witness to his power and to his goodness. I'll tell anybody, I'm saved because of Jesus. I'm sanctified because of Jesus. I'm somebody because of Jesus. I preach because of Jesus. I'm here because of Jesus. And whatever my lot, I know it will be well because of Jesus. Do I have a witness? Jesus, uh, he's my commander in chief. Jesus, he's my real boss. Jesus, uh, he called. I answered. Jesus, uh, he sent. I went. Yes. Oh, yes. And I'll tell anybody. I'll tell anybody anywhere. I serve somebody who is still the king of my life. When I last checked the deeds of the universe, I discovered that the earth is still the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And as long as God is in charge, I'll do what he tells me to do. Yes! quality not to quantity and that's true in every historical age I'm privileged of God to serve in the borough of Brooklyn in the city of New York and some of the biggest churches in the world are situated in Brooklyn I have a colleague Gardner Taylor who says that there are two kinds of preachers those who pastor in Brooklyn and those who want to pastor in Brooklyn. That's what he says. And I've come to realize that there are some folks who feel that big congregations 
in big church structures represent the ultimate in ecclesiastical service. And I thank God that he has allowed me to pastor a pretty good sized church in Brooklyn. But I've told Emmanuel and I'll tell you that I would rather lead a few folks filled with Holy Ghost fire and the thrill of gospel service than thousands who occupy space, feel nothing, and do nothing. times. These are trying times. These are indeed the times which try men's souls. But what do you see, brother preacher? 
Well, economically, I see where the haves have more and the have-nots have even less. What do you see, Brother Preacher? Well, religiously, I see some strange things happening in a whole lot of places, strange doctrines and some questionable religious movements that have caused a whole lot of folks to be anything but a tree planted by the waters. What do you see, Brother Preacher? Well, scholastically, I see where many of our youth are educationally undernourished. What do you see, Brother Preacher? Well, globally, I see where this world is still a ball of confusion. What do you see, Brother Preacher? Well, politically, I see where style rather than substance and ignorance rather than intelligence and racism rather than reason.